Wow, this verse all by itself could be an entire message, right? In fact, I would say it needs to be a billboard that's plastered all over the United States, especially in the Bible Belt and beyond. Christ is the end of the law for righteousness for all those who believe. And so you notice this verbiage. I mean, Christ puts an end to all of that self-made righteousness. Christ is the culmination and the fulfillment of the old covenant, and Christ is the introduction of the new covenant, and the dividing line of human history is Christ Jesus on that cross. And so Christ is the end of the law. Now, you've seen it, you've heard it, the popular teachings of today are, well, Christ is the end of the sacrificial law. You know, Christ is the end of the ceremonial law. Christ is the end of some of the laws, and yet we still need the moral law to stay on the right road. Is that what this says? Well, of course, the message plastered all over the New Testament is that you as a believer are dead to the law, free from the law, not under the law, and Christ is the end of the law for us. Crystal clear language, no caveats, no exceptions. We shouldn't be rummaging through 613 laws to try to get it the way we like it. It's not multiple choice. It's not choose your own adventure. It's not a buffet line. There is no options within the law to grasp and cherry pick at what we want to keep. The law is an all or nothing proposition. Remember, James says, if you keep the whole law and stumble at one point, you're guilty of all of it. Galatians says, cursed is everybody who does not keep everything written in the book of the law. And by the way, that book of the law, that verbiage there means the whole thing. Cursed are you if you don't keep everything written in the whole book of the law. The first five books of the Bible contain all of those regulations, the Torah, and it's an all or nothing proposition. And when we realize that, then we see more fully why Jesus had to do what he did. Why did he do it? Because it was impossible to keep. Nobody could fulfill the law. Jesus fulfilled it so that you would never have to. It's the end of the sacrificial law, the ceremonial law, the ceremonial washings, the wardrobe restrictions, and the Ten Commandments are also fulfilled through what Jesus Christ did. So we're not under the Ten Commandments. And that's why 2 Corinthians chapter 3 says the Ten Commandments are a ministry of condemnation and death. And there's a greater ministry today, the ministry of the Spirit. So this powerful verse, Christ is the end of the law for all those who believe because we have righteousness in Jesus. This needs to be shouted from the rooftops so that we, the Christian world, we get it and we see the freedom. And it's a total freedom, a free fall into Christ saying, I don't need Moses for my morality. I don't need Moses for my ethics. I'm trusting Jesus and the fruit of the Spirit is enough for me.